I'm at my 6100D here. I got my, well, the two supports. One's like blown out, doesn't work, and the other one came off, and the, I could put it back on, but this is my hood support right now. Uh, I just put a new John Deere battery in. The other battery was tired. It doesn't do well in the winter. It doesn't want to start on cold days. Um, when my belt just shredded, the alternator went. I don't, I'm pretty sure they probably had something to do with each other, but um, there's a video on me replacing the belt. I'm going to take that tensioner back loose and take the belt off the alternator that lives right here and uh, replace that alternator. It was like uh, upper $300. There's a 90 amp and a 70 amp and uh, I believe the 90 amp was actually cheaper. It says they're both compatible. So I went with the cheaper, uh, more amperage alternator. Also, I put my meter on the battery and it was showing the same with the tractor running as when it wasn't running at the 12.8 volts. So it should be up over around 14 or better with the alternator on. So I'm gonna replace this alternator um, when the tractor was running, I uh, had the battery light was on constant and the caution light was flashing. Um, they're tied together. So, so right here is your tensioner and I'm basically just going to put this in here. One handed maybe. Let's see here. So you just put it in here, half inch drive. Um, you're gonna have to take it away, push down on it, and take the tension off, and the belt's off. So that was pretty simple, took a whole second. And now I'm going to unbolt the alternator, take the, shouldn't take long, should be a pretty quick job. I'm not talking loud because there's groundhogs in this wood pile behind me and I'm trying to shoot them all. They're eating all my soybeans. So you got your positive lead off the back. I'll have to take that off. You got a plug right here. And that looks like everything other than the mount hardware. So we'll take this plug off and take this positive terminal off. All right, the positive terminal here is 13 millimeter. Got a looks like a lock washer. Oh, don't lose that. And a lock washer only. And the positive lead is off. And then disconnect this connector. Um, I'm sure we just push in somewhere. I gotta push in on this and get it to really right here. There's a little you pull out on this. Connectors off. All right, now we just have to take a little, how many mount bolts? One, two mount bolts, and we'll have it out. They're right here, and the other one's right here. 13 millimeter. I just broke that one free, and uh, I gotta break this one free now. It needed. I got the lower one with the quarter inch. This one I put the three eighths drive on to not break my quarter inch and it broke free. I smash my hand there's a pipe right above it that is running interference we're up against this line I'm gonna it's got a Adel clamp on the back
hooks up right here if you needed to remove it and right here but I'm just going to move it out of the way maybe there's a washer And here's our alternator. They have a core charge, so I gotta take it back. It's a reman. The I don't even know if they had access to the non-remanufactured ones, but she said they were a lot more expensive, so. I don't think the part number's on here. She took it. Here we go. Part number, it's either RM100161 or probably this 2020-0413 Sierra Echo. There's what $400 looks like. Everything looks the same on the back with the connector. The positive has a new nut on it. This, I don't think I have. Alright, snug these two front mount bolts up. Alright, both mount bolts 13 millimeter secure. Got to put that little Adele clamp back on in here. I just smoked another groundhog. One less eating my beans. There's there was just three out, so I gotta get his brothers and sisters when they come back out. There's so many groundhogs in that pile. Alright, Adele clamp. Tighten it up on this hydraulic tube. I'll show you where it's at. Right here. If you weren't making a video and you were just working on this, you could change this alternator in probably five minutes. It's nice that everything's 13 millimeter. I like when everything's the same size. Even the Adel clamp on that standoff behind it. Okay. Put this connector back on. I'm going to look at it first. Two pin. Okay, it clipped. Then we got to put our positive lead back on. Lock washer, nut. Thirteen mil. Okay. It's tight. Now we just gotta put the belt back on breaker bar or you can use a ratchet half inch drive and we got to get her up over all right
Okay. Belt's on. And now we're ready to ops check it. The battery light was right here. It was flat. The battery light was right here. It was flashing con constantly, or actually staying on steady. The caution light was flashing at me. Well, I had to use it for a little bit. It's all out now. Good to go there.